Uh, today we're going to talk about Google Drive, specifically Google Spreadsheet uh, that we're going to use in our labs. Uh, so once you log into Google uh, Drive or your Google account, you click on the Drive option here. You can see that you're logging here on the right. Uh, and you'll see a screen that looks something like this. I have a couple of documents here. We're going to talk about uh, a template uh, for the eLab notebook. Uh, so I'm going to click on this right here to show you what it looks like and then walk you through the process. So for each of our labs, we're going to use an electronic notebook. So um, the key elements are the header, which consists of your name. You can see your name here, the chapter, the section, and the date. Uh, following, and I'll talk about formatting of that as well. Uh, then you see a title, table one with the title. So always we number the tables, table one with a descriptive title there at the top. Uh, we have the variables we're going to collect data for. The quantities, length of the string, bra the square brackets mean units or meters, tension, capital N is newtons, and the pitch, and this is qualitative. We're just going to type in instead of numbers words, high, medium, and low. Then it's nicely formatted with some grid lines, and uh, if we have a second table, we could put it below. And then from here, we can also graph the data, which we'll take a look at in a different lesson. So let me go back to the main screen. I'll click back here, in the upper left-hand corner, to the main screen, and let's create it. And it's relatively simple, so I'll go create spreadsheet. We can create documents and presentations and whatnot, but I'll go to spreadsheet. So we get a blank spreadsheet. And all the spreadsheet is is a series of rows and columns. Column A, column B, column C, they go up and down. Row 1, 2, 3, 4, they go horizontally. And in each cell, you can put in text, numbers, or equations. And equations work is the power comes in, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. So we always start in B2, cell B2. So I'll type in my name. And this is chapter five. And this is section one, sounds and, and the date. Okay. So uh, first thing is I'll take a look at is the font is kind of small. So I'm going to click on the intersection of A and one here. And I'm going to make the font 14 point. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. Click B for bold. All right. And right here, this column B is too narrow for the long string of text. So I'm going to go in between the cell B and C and click and drag this over. And if I drag it over, I can widen up a column. And you can do that for any column. Uh, next thing here is the date. I'm going to change the format, which we'll do. We'll go to, it's trying to reach Google, reload. And there it is. Okay. Uh, Format, number, formats, and we'll use this format here. It's a nice, easy one to read. Oh, we can select the cell. Select the cell, format, number, and there you go. And we'll just click left justify, just to make it line up nicely. So that's your header, your name, the chapter, the title of the section we're dealing with, and the date. Then down here below, we'll type in table one, we'll always number the tables. Uh, length, tension, and frequency of vibrating strings. Okay, skip a line, and we'll type in length in meters. Square brackets are the units. Uh, tension in newtons, and frequency. or what we call the pitch. And we're just going to go high, medium, low. Okay. So uh, some formatting things. Again, this one's too narrow, so you know the trick. You go between cell D and E where the um, cursor becomes a black arrow. You click and drag to the right. Now, and a little bit more. Now uh, let's center these guys. So let's click here in the center. And I say click on the center of the cell because if you move and you click on the edge of a cell, right here, you can actually move it around. We don't want to move it around. I simply want to select it, click it, and drag it in the middle. That allows you to click and drag and select. We'll center that as well. Okay. And then I'm going to collect, uh, select these guys here, and I'll put a little grid line. Gotta give us that. Okay. And one other thing here. This how it looks nice and neat. This is too, uh, this text is too narrow or too wide for this column B, so I could widen it up to make it fit, but now look what happens. This 
length column becomes white as well, which I don't like too much because it doesn't look symmetrical. So I'm going to bring it back. And I have a little trick I can play here. It's a very useful feature. I can click and drag over these three cells, and I'm going to center it over these three columns. So I click on this button right here, Merge Cells. So I merged them, so it's now one cell, and I'll center that, and then put a border on it. So what I've done is I've made the cell B7 really one large cell, so it's centered across all three, and therefore I don't need to make this one column wider than the others. I can, I can um, have it span over multiple columns there. Um, so those are the steps you can use to create a Google spreadsheet. Each one's going to have our eLab notebook. It's going to have your name, chapter, the section, the date, left justified, bold-faced, and then the title, table one with the title, each of the quantities, and then room to type in numbers. So here you can type in numbers like three and four and five and six, and we should probably highlight all these. Right now what I'm doing is I'm holding the shift button down and I'm highlighting things. That's an easy way to do it with the keyboard. Hold down shift, move this around. I'll center everything. And for some reason that four was not 14 points. Let me go back and make it 14 point. There we go. And bold face, on and off. Okay, and there you go. Uh, one last thing, make sure you give it a name. So we'll click here and this is uh, chapter five, section one and click OK. You can be more descriptive there if you like. As long as we have this chapter and the section, we'll know where we're at. And we'll click back to Google Drive. And there you have it. One final note as you create more and more and more of these, you're going to have many, many files. So, what I would suggest, and I'm going to have you do, is to create a folder. So, I'll say folder chapter five, create. And you'll see the chapter five folder right there, it's empty. Go back to my drive, click on the file that belongs in the folder, so that first one, and click folder, and click on the chapter five folder, so it's check marked, and we should have it moved right in there. It says it's been moved, but just let's double check, and there it is. Click it, and there's a spreadsheet. So this is nice because uh, now it's organized, and uh, Another benefit is that you can access any this anywhere. If you don't bring your own computer to school, you want to use a school computer, that's fine. Just log in. All your files are there. So that's a brief introduction to Google Spreadsheet and Google Drive.